welcome back to the channel and today the task is simple build a porcupine car it's not like a spiky car necessarily well it is a spiky car but the spikes are also bombs but this and they get launched from the car this isn't i lied it's not simple basically i want a car that launches time bombs sticky sticky time bombs because of the spikes and uh it launches them like around like a circle like a spherical launch kind of like uh imagine if it would look like a porcupine but all the spikes were time bomb sticky launch bombs is that clear okay let's let's do this all right i got my base vehicle here something to build off of we got wheels we got steering we got suspension and we got engine power so now the tough part is like i kind of want this to have a curved look like the back of a porcupine or like a hedgehog i guess this is gonna give more hedgehog vibes um and that's hard to do in trail makers and have it not glitch out but let me test i need to test the ex i need to test the sticky bomb timer launching system because that's kind of complicated in, of, in and of itself because the bomb needs to explode after it's been detached which means it's probably gonna have to have like a bomb and a logic gate combined as well as anchor blocks for the stickiness and they got to come off of a piston so piston speed we'll go negative 100 space will be the button was it auto reset start position zero yeah that works oh and there has to be detachable blocks okay yeah this is getting very complicated very quickly so wow this is actually this is so much material okay there we go so then this detached block what is it like uh delay of 0 0.05 is that the appropriate delay nope 0.03 that looks good where'd it go wow that went so far i don't look at that from the ground Wow. I'm actually really impressed with that. Uh, not exactly what I necessarily wanted, but I can change the piston speeds to adjust the strength of that. So no problem there. All right. Now we need this thing to uh, explode after a certain amount of time. So I don't know if this is going to work the way I want it to work. But if I have an or gate that I set space toggle go into here, then this has a delay of five seconds. I'm going to change the piston speed down. Does this work? Okay, that's way higher than I wanted it to be. All right, let's put this on like negative four. All right, ready? Go. This is on toggle. Oh, that's not the space button. All right, there we go. All right, and go. Hey, it works. How do I make this thing have spikes? We could do like, maybe if I have it in line like this. Actually, I feel like maybe this should be on top. And then we line that with spikes. Well, we can't attach spikes to this side of it, which is unfortunate. All right, I'm just adding an extra block here because it's just gonna make my life easier for attachment points. So now, that becomes the whole spike thing. And let's adjust the piston speed again. Well, like, I don't know, what's this gonna feel like? That actually feels kind of reasonable. Then it sticks into the ground. Look at that. That's cool. I actually, I do kind of like this. That works like perfect. It's like the perfect distance too. We don't want it to launch 20 feet up in the air because this is gonna explode when it hits the ground. We want to leave it behind as this like little time bomb. So I'm trying to think of an easy way. If I'm going to have like 10 of these on my vehicle, I don't know if I want them to all launch at once or if I want them to launch like consecutively like choo -choo 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 -choo. and I want to have freedom in choosing that without having to go and individually change the settings of like this start at space. Then this has to be delayed by 0.03 plus whatever the additional delay is and then this is a five second delay plus whatever delay hmm all right so i think i want to reduce all of the controls in here down to a single logic gate so this logic gate becomes the source so that means if i add a delay into this logic gate let's like let's say like three seconds that three seconds should automatically get added to everything that we need to have here so now if i hold one two three 
Then it launches. Three, four, five, explosion. All right, yeah, so that uh, everything else kind of just works now. So now I just need to adjust an individual logic gate per spine instead of three different settings per spine. Now the hard part is organizing the spines to look cool. All right, I got two spines on here now. So let's see if this works as intended. One should be a second delay from the other one. So we got one, two. Okay, that didn't work as it should have. Oh, this did not paste. Okay, that connection did not paste. All right, now we should be good. So one, two, three, four, explode. Explode. Okay, apparently my personal counter is very off, but it worked. Both exploded at their own separate times. Oh, I'm top heavy now. Oh, don't hit the ground. Oh, oh, now I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. One, two, three, four. Whoa, what happened there? One, two, three, four. I might need to build my vehicle wheelbase a bit bigger. All right, now the reason I wanted to make it wider is because I want to have an additional segment. Oh man, this needs to be really wide, apparently. Now the problem is when I copy and paste these, are things getting cross-wired? I think they don't get cross-wired if you copy and paste it to a part that doesn't immediately attach it back to the vehicle. So I think I kind of actually lucked out with that. There we go. So I needed to elevate the middle one. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so I got eight now, and uh, the way that it's working right now is I just have them all launching at the same time because I'm going to still add some more, and I just want to individually program their launch times. But as you can see, they all seem to work. All right, I think I've got as many as I want on here now, which is, uh, let's see, eight, 12, 14. And... It works for the most part. There is a chance right now, as you saw, that sometimes they explode on impact. Um, I have had it where they none of them explode on impact as intended. I'm trying to get that to happen right now. There we go. And then after like five seconds or so, they explode. So that is uh, the all at the same time launch. I don't know if I want it, if I want it that way. It does look kind of cool. But now, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I want to try to, like, build a body. But all this stuff is so in the way that I... And, like, I, I feel like it's just going to interfere with its abilities. I don't know. Let me just see what happens when I start putting stuff in between these things. All right, so obviously, if I put some stuff in between there that interferes with its ability to angle, uh, that causes problems. All right, I've decided that monster truck wheels are a much more appropriate vibe. And that time it actually, uh, it, 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 none of them exploded when they hit the ground. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Well, that was also interesting, the fact that those explosions didn't just all happen at once. All right, we're getting there to like, you know, a shape. All right, I think I've got the basic design of the vehicle down. Uh, so it's just like a weird uh, porcupine tank thing. Like I, like I said at the beginning of the vehicle. Do you remember that very accurate and detailed and easy to understand description I said way back then? Well, you're looking at it now. So this is the all launch at the same time version, which I don't know if... I like it. I, I just don't like how they, they, they're so likely to explode. Well, I'm going to save this version and then I'm going to, uh... All right, that's the, that's the breakdancing version. I didn't, it, that's, uh, classified. You can't, not supposed to see that yet. All right, but I saved the all at the same time version. So now what I want to do is, oh great, I've covered all my logic gates. But now I want to do a consecutive you know, release thing. But my logic gates are no longer accessible. Watch, I'm gonna blow them up. <laughs> Me too. All right, it was hard to surgically find everything, but I think I've gotten the logic gates all organized to release in the appropriate order so that they're not gonna interfere with each other. And it takes about 4.33 seconds. I have a third of a second delay in between each one. So it'll take um, four and a half seconds, essentially, to get through all of them when I hold down space. So here we go. Let's hope that this works. And three, two, one, go. Okay. There's something wrong. One, two, 
Okay, those two go at the same time for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's a problem. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this one is the problem one right now, which I think is this logic gate. That is also on 0.33. Now the one next to it is on zero. Oh, that's on zero. It's on 1.33. So then this one should be on 1.66. Yeah, then that one goes on two. All right, now, that did that fix it? One, two. Wait, now... Oh, no. Is one of these logic gates going into more than one? Oh, this logic gate should not be controlling this one. Oh, no. This logic gate should not be controlling this one. And it should be controlling this one. I had a crosswired logic gate there. This is 1.66. This should have been... What was it? Dang it. Point three three. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Wow. Okay, that worked. Check it out. All right, we hold down space. Look at the line. Okay, I do like it better this way. It's definitely way more stable. So you can, uh, if you look carefully at the order, uh, the order was chosen very carefully so that uh, the back and outside go first and it works its way up to the front inside through there that way nothing will be blocked by a previous one all right this is working exactly as intended does it make sense now the whole porcupine sticky bomb launching thing <laughs> i don't remember how i described it in the beginning Oh, I like how it actually seems pretty consistent, too. All right, this is clearly the superior version. I'm just going to overwrite the other one and save it. Oh, actually, one one little adjustment here. I wanted to add a booster. All right, so now instead of capping out at a whopping 105 kilometers an hour, 104 kilometers an hour, now with the boost, we can go 111. Wow, look at that speed. Look at that speed. Oh, no, that's not supposed to happen. Oh my goodness. So many explosions. Alright, and go, 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 go. Oh no, oh no. It's weird how sometimes, sometimes they explode when they hit the ground. Sometimes they do not. Like, oh, this one. Oh, that one was perfect. Alright, now I don't care. What happens if I let them go while I'm like turning around? And back to the beginning. Look, I'm chasing my own explosions. That's actually pretty cool. The, it, the, the spacing is almost perfect. It's a little bit too close at times where one explosion will explode the other one before its actual timer triggers the explosion. But it seems like when you turn, they're more likely not to trigger each other. Oh, never mind. Ignore what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, ah, come on. Come on, be stable. Be stable. Dang it. Dang it. I mean, it's still fun to watch. I just wish it was more, uh, less, less deadly to myself. Oh. See, the cool thing with these is sticky bombs is, um, when they're on the ground, if another vehicle runs into them, they will actually stop the vehicle and attach. It'll be attached. Like, here, I don't know if I can do this right now, but... Oh, I exploded it anyway by running into it. I mean, that's that's also more likely to happen, too. But if I let that one down, and then I... Okay, it's not working quite the way I intended to. I think uh, the anchor blocks skip tires. It doesn't work when you do tires. So it would have to be, like, the body of the vehicle. Yeah, so now if I drive into it... Wow, it's just, like, instant explosion, though. That wasn't even the timer doing that. Yeah, it seems the dynamite is very sensitive to impact damage. I'm trying to just, like, drive into it and get attached. But I seem to explode it very easily. Yeah, see? Like, the slightest little tap. Interesting. Oh. Oh, there you go. Now I'm stuck to it. That, that's the way it's supposed to work. You get stuck to it, it traps you, and then it explodes. I think this would be a pretty good defensive vehicle if you had somebody chasing you until you used all of your porcupine spikes, and then you are a very slow, defenseless vehicle. 
It'd be nice if you could regrow your spikes pretty instantly. So there you have it. The porcupine car. Explosive porcupine car. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you have anything else you'd like to see happen in Trailmakers, let me know. And uh, if you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some more you can find right here on the end screen. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.